Jason Bean, Kansas with us, a uh, pro day in Frisco, home with the Cowboys. What's this been like, uh, this experience, this unique type of uh, event that they've put on now with the conference? Uh, yeah, it's been great. I mean, I really enjoyed myself today. Um, you know, there's a lot of scouts and teams out here. Um, you know, it was a great opportunity, you know, go out there and perform. And, um, you know, I'm happy with the performance. Um, you know, a little disappointed in the 40 time, but, um, you know, overall happy with it. What was your 40 time? Four, five, six. Oh, I would. Listen, what, I, would, I would throw yeah. you off this. this what, what did you expect it to be? At, at least a, a four four one, at least. You know, okay. that's what I've been training at, and um, you know, I was hopefully expecting to get you know a four three, but you know, it is what it is, and you know, there's not too much I can do about it now. And um, you know, like I said, you know, the rest of the drills went good, and um, you know, I'm happy with the performance and the other drills too. You'll get, you'll get there. You'll yeah, get for there. Sure, uh, for sure. So, Jason, how fun has it been at Kansas the last? couple of years the offense is fun mm -hmm. it seems like coach Leipold has it going there yep. um, uh, football season is an event now mm -hmm, uh, where sure. before it wasn't what's it been like uh, just riding that wave uh, yeah you know Lawrence is booming right now mm -hmm. um, you know it's a fun place to be um, you know like I said like you said you know coach Leipold has a place you know jumping in and um, you know I think he's going to continue to you know just elevate the program um, you mm -hmm. know the players are excited um, you know the fans are excited and um, you know it's it's a really good time to be in Lawrence right now mm -hmm. Man, you were an incredible story. Uh, I mean, just the, the, the way you stepped in uh, when Jalen Daniels goes down. Now, I know you had plenty of experience prior to that. You, you're not far from here. Like, for, you grew up in Mansfield, right? So yep. you're not far from home. Yeah. And um, found your way to Kansas and just thrown into action probably much more than you expected last season. Just how ready were you for that? Obviously pretty ready. But just what was that experience like to play as much as you did? And, and uh, just what did you make of it all? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I definitely, you know, going into the season wasn't expecting to play as much as I did, um, you know, but I was definitely thankful for, you know, how much I did play. Um, you know, I got a lot of good film out, um, you know, I tried to help the team as much as I could. Um, I think we had a pretty good season, you know, I think we, you know, left a couple games there on the table and we, you know, possibly could have got to the conference championship. But, um, you know, like I said, we had a good season and, um, you know, the program was just continuing to elevate for sure. I would say you're probably about as unselfish as most anybody, uh, you know, because you knew the situation. But when it was your times, like next man up or mm -hmm. be ready, uh, how difficult was that? Or is that just something that you've always been able to do? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I say early on is something that I kind of struggle with, um, you know, but I, I learned, um, you know, a good lesson in that, you know, sitting there and sulking about, you know, the position that I'm in is not going to do me any good or the team any good. And, um, you know, I think, like I said, I learned from that mistake. And, um, you know, I was just wanted to try to elevate from that and, um, you know, be, be a bigger person and a good teammate for my teammates and, um, you know, try to be a, that leader on the team. And, um, you know, I think it, it overall helped the team, but, you know, it helped me as well. Jason Bean, quarterback at Kansas, was at North Texas as well, right up, in fact, Right here, basically, uh, with us on 365 Sports. So you and Jalen had that great, this good core. That's a good, well, not a, you, all three of you guys. So a really good quarterback room. Yeah. What do you learn from each other, like yeah. in that kind of a moment? Like Jalen's really, like he was a really good leader. I'm sure that passed on down to you and sure. everything. So, what was it like being in that room with those guys? Yeah, I um, mean, I think. You know, all three of us, we just feed off of each other. Um, you know, we all play a little bit differently. And, um, you know, I think one thing I tried to do is implement some of the things that they were doing on the field into my game. Um, and I think that kind of helped me, um, you know, my process is, you know, better in myself as a quarterback, um, you know, just learning from guys. And I think that's going to help me at the next level, too, you know, just trying to nitpick from the guys, the veterans that are, you know, what they're doing and, you know, try to implement it into my game and, um, you know, try to make myself that much better. Uh your OC, Andy Kotelnik, he's moved on to a, another job. But can you just speak to the offense, the creativity, the mm -hmm. the fun of playing in the offense, and, and just um, how do you think that Kansas will continue to, to, to keep moving on um, with Coach Leipold and, and, and the changes made? Who One of the guys is we covered in Jeff Grimes, now the OC from Baylor, who yeah. we, we followed. But uh, what do you expect now um, post-Andy Kotelnik? Uh, yeah, you know, I expect big numbers from the offense next year. I mean, they got a lot of guys coming back, um, you know, a good receiver and core, you know, obviously Jalen Daniels. Um, you, know, you got the two running backs in Daniel Hyshaw and Devin Neal. Um, you know, I think that offense, um, you know, they're going to put up a lot of big numbers next year. And, um, you know, I think the offense is it's going to be, you know, a little bit similar. Um, you know, they're going to try to, you know, do some of the same things. And um, you know, I think it's going to help them, you know, a lot. And, um, you know, I think the players are excited about, um, you know, Grimes coming in and, um, you know, I learned, um, you know, I got to talk to him a little bit before, you know, I got out of there. And, um, you know, he seems like a really nice guy. And, and um, you know, I would have been excited to play for him. But, um, you know, I think he's going he's gonna to elevate the pro program well. There was a week, and I don't know what year it was, but you won the Earl Campbell Tyler Rose Award, the weekly award, mm -hmm. for being, and again, it's a Texas-based player or somebody playing for a school in Texas. He's the one that compiles the stats for that award. Oh, yeah. His mother 
runs the award. Okay, nice. So, yeah, nice, you, yeah. Nice, so you can nice. say You're thank you to him and vice versa. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you for, yeah. for performing well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah thank you. Thank you, you thank no, you. you earned that, but yeah. I just wanted you to, in case you did not know that. Uh, yeah, that, no, I didn't. A little tidbit. You yeah. learned that a little nice, bit today. Nice, nice, nice. That's cool. So what are your expectations? What do you think when you get your chance, whoever calls you, whether it's mm -hmm. drafted or not, what are your expectations? Um, you know, just try to get in there and learn as much as I can. Um, you know, try to show a team that, you know, I'm a consistent, um, you know, developmental player. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, whatever they want me to do, you know, I'm willing to do it. Uh, you know, whatever gets me on that 53-man roster is, you know, that's my goal. And, um, you know, I'm looking to help any team any way I can. Jason Bean, Kansas, here at the 365 Sports and Big 12 Pro Days in Frisco.